So now let's see how we can work around with collision option inside of Blender. So to do that, first of all, I need an object uh, which needs to act as a collision area. So I'm going to press Shift A on my keyboard and then I'm going to go around and bring in a plane right here. Let me just uh, press S right here to scale it out. And then I'm going to bring in another object by pressing Shift A on my keyboard and let's bring in a UV spear right here. So you, you got a spear and you got plane as you can see right here. So now for the plane, I want it to uh, be the collision object right here. So I'm going to go around on to the physics properties right here and then turn this into a rigid body right here. I'm also going to go around and turn this into a rigid body. So if I were to press play, you can see that both the object falls down right now. So if I want one object to stay still, instead of uh, choosing active in the rigid body area, I can go around and make it passive right here. So over here, you can see that you got the mass right here. So I'm going to go around and press play. And now you can see that it actually works around like a physics. So it actually goes around the ball stays around just like this. But there's a lot of friction going on right here. So you can actually work around with the friction of the ball and the bounciness as well. So for that, you can scroll down and over here, you can see that on the surface response, friction is uh, 0 0.5. 5 right here. You can decrease around the friction right here, press the play button. And now, right now, the, uh, the plane is perfectly still, so not much things are seen. So I'm just going to rotate this out a bit right here, just like this. And let's see the result now. So if I were to press play now, what happens is uh, the friction is still taking in place right here. But now, for the friction, I need to change around the friction both on the uh, spear and on this right here. So I'm going to make it less like, let's say, acted upon in friction. So if I were to press the play button, you can see that now the ball slowly uh, rolls around right here and slides around as well, just like this. So another thing that you can do is increase out the bounciness. I'm going to keep this somewhere around 0 0.5, 0 0.6 right here, press the play button. And now you can see that there's a bit of a bounce. Let me just go around, increase out the bounciness level of the ball right here all the way to one. Let's see how this reacts. So you can see that now it reacts up just like this. I'm going to increase out the bounciness over there as well. Press play and you can see that this is how it bounces now. So a bit unnatural, so not good to always buff up all the way up till one right here. If I have to, where to press the play button, then you can see that this is what you have. So I can go around and then copy paste out this object right here. So let me press uh, like, uh, let's say save D right here, duplicate this is save D and save D right here again and save D, save D, save D, save D, save D, save D, save D. And this is what I have. So if I were to press the play button now, you can see that everything bounces off around right here. And there you go. There's the physics right here and everything falls off right there, just like that. And then the physics work out just like this. You got the uh, bounciness right here, all the spears, they actually uh, run off right here from the edges and then falls down. And it works as if these are actual balls right here. So if I were to go around right here and then change around the weight, then it changes out the physics as well. So the top ball is much more heavier and that one works around just like that. So you can go around and then change the option over here as well. And that is how you can work around with the collision option inside of Blender to uh, simulate out uh, physics uh, of objects. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.